Hello friends, welcome. So here we have now the table for the users. We can search and by default is sorting by username as you can see here. Now if you want to, to sort by ID or if you want to add another column, for example, the created ad, we can do that by let's open here the users table. We have created that and here we have the default sort which is the username. And as I said, if you want, you can change that. For example, let's change this to ID. And if I save and come here and refresh, now we have the default sort by ID. And uh, if you want to add another column, for example, the created ad, we can say here, let's copy and paste right here and specify the column, which is going to be the created ad here to be sortable but to be sortable also we need to add on the allowed sorts and say here created add okay save from here and refresh and now we have the created add and we can sort by that now i want to show you in the users because when we navigate to the employees and counters and so on i'm just going to copy and paste so for the users I'm going to take some time to explain you how to do that okay now also you can for example here we have the ID username first name last name email and the created that and if you don't want all of them to see here we can toggle here so I want for example to see only the ID username and the email and the others let's hide and now we have only the ID, uh, username and the email. Okay, now let's work when we click to navigate to the edit page for the specific user or we can add a link here and click to that link and navigate to the edit page. So for that, let's open the users table and here I'm going to add a new column which is going to be a raw link so let's say raw link and this as you can see expect a callback so let's say function and this function receive the user model as a property a dollar sign user and now we need to return the route so let's return the route and the route is going to be the admin dot users edit and pass in here the user like this let's close and let's save this now if i come here and refresh and if i click as you can see now is this is clickable and if i click we navigate to the users user id and edit okay now if you like this okay if you don't want and for example, if you want to add a link here instead of row clickable, we can do something else. So let's comment this. And what we need is to say column, add a column here. And the column is going to be action. But we don't have action in our database. So if I save now and let's come here and refresh yeah we don't see but if i click as you can see now we here is the action and just let me zoom out yeah it is the action but because we have too much data and let's zoom it again because i'm going to see only the id username email and the action Okay, now here is the action and I want to add a link here. To do that, we can navigate to the blade. So open the index inside the resources views admin users. And here, instead of self-closing the X blade table, we can add something inside, which is going to be a cell for the action because we added action name. 
and here is going to receive the user because we make here four users and here we add in the user and inside now let's add a link a link component from split and say shrev and the shrev is going to be route and the route is going to be admin dot users edit the same dollar sign user and let's say edit here let's close the link and also let's close the and cell here and save this one now if i navigate back as you can see here we have the edit and when i click we navigate to the users one edit users two edit and so on just let's add some uh, classes here so let's say class to be i'm going to say uh px3 and py to be two i'm going to give it a bg green 400 and on hover i'm going to change that to say bg green 700 and also it's going to be rounded rounded md i'm going to say like this let's save and let's see yeah we have something like this also let's add the text to be white yeah something like this and if i click we navigate to the page okay friends so that's it about this video i hope you enjoy and see you in the next one all the best and thank you very much